Welcome to Das Geek. I am very excited to share this unboxing of gifts I was sent from IX Systems here. They sent me some swag and I wanted to unbox it. So this video in part is a thank you to IX Systems because they also invited me down to their headquarters, which I am super excited about. I'm going to arrange a trip, hopefully with Noah from the Ask Noah show and Michael from Tux Digital also does Destination Linux. Both of them do Destination Linux podcast with me and down to IX Systems headquarters so that we can tour there and get some interviews in. If you're not aware, I have a video out there where I took a IBM Xeon server that I got off of the internet, off of eBay, and turned it into a free NAS server, and I absolutely love it, especially recently having to deal with a lot of distros, trying different distros and things because of the AMD third gen, and a lot of distros still not having support for it in there. Uh, I've had to wipe machines and move to different distros. And all of my data, though, has been safe and sound and easily recoverable utilizing the FreeNAS system from IX Systems. Now, of course, my goal is to eventually own one of their official server systems. They have minis out there, mini FreeNAS servers for consumer level. And my wife would be so thankful that she doesn't have this gigantic server downstairs that eats up all the power that it does and switching to one of those. So that's on my list eventually uh, to get in my budget, but a little bit about IX Systems and then we'll show you some of the swag that they sent. So IX Systems doesn't just support the free NAS system. You can see here that in this little triangle of or circle of different systems that they have supported that they leverage open source and all of their business FreeNAS, FreeBSD, OpenZFS, TrueNAS, the FreeBSD Mail, Slackware Linux, and TrueOS. So they talk about down here that they don't just talk about utilizing their decades of experience in hardware design and leveraging open source, but they are a part of the solution that they help uh, these projects here grow and get better and better and contribute to these projects regularly. So I am so thankful that IX Systems exists and I am very happy that my tiny channel somehow got their attention there and they sent me some of this stuff. So this is the FreeNAS Mini that I was talking about here in case you're interested. I would say this is more for your home or small business use cases. Uh, the FreeNAS Mini E, uh, which has four hot swap bays, it's dual core, eight gigabytes of RAM, very efficient design, low in power consumption, uh, you've got the FreeNAS Mini. This is the one I think I want to get my hands on. It starts at $9.99. Uh, but keep in mind with these prices, this is about the price of, you know, a good desktop computer. But at the same time, this is holding all of your memories in a FreeNAS solution to have RAID redundancy and backup. And there's nothing more important than that. So this is a good investment if you can afford it. And of course, you can go out there and get used equipment as well and put FreeNAS on it or build your own FreeNAS solution if that is more equitable for you. But I love supporting companies just like I love System76, companies out there that support Linux um, through and through. And so to me, to be able to give them money over somebody else, I would much rather give it to them. So consider that. Now, I'm also gonna use this video here for my next video. My next video is gonna be showing you the basics of video editing in Blender. Since Blender 2.8.0 came out, I thought, what a fantastic time. Actually, one of the patrons in Destination Linux asked if I would do this. A fantastic time, though, to do a video to show you some of the other capabilities of Blender, one of which being video editing. So if you're not happy with Caden Live or OpenShot or some of the other solutions out there, uh, check out my next video because we'll be editing this video in that video. It's like a video within video inception thing. In any case, let's get to the unboxing. So the first thing in this box right here is... A stress ball. Well, a stress devil horns ball. Free BSD stress ball here. I love stuff like this because during four hours of shooting the podcast each and every week, you need something to do with your hands sometimes. And uh, so this is awesome. A little free BSD stress ball swag there. Can't beat that. Very happy to have that. Next, we have post-it notes. We got two sets of post-it notes here. I use the heck out of these at work. So these will go through good use, although part of me just wants to keep them pure and perfect like they are here, but they're gonna get some use. So free BSD here, post-it notes. 
Next, we have some free BSD stickers. I've got a couple pairs of these. So if you show up to my local Linux meetup group, Linux and Coffee in North Georgia, we have another event coming up in August. If you show up to that, I'll make sure to bring uh, at least one or two of the, I don't want to give them all away, maybe two. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll bring a lot. I'm going to keep one for myself, though, of these stickers to hand out so that you can have some free BSD swag there. Oh yeah, I like what I'm seeing here. We've got a nice, beautiful free NAS shirt. I will be sporting that on the podcast in this channel here with IX Systems on the back. So awesome shirt there. Very happy about that. And this, what? <laughs> they, they sent me boxers. How pimp is that? Devil boxers. These are very awesome. I love it. I'm jealous to the degree that I don't have DOS Geek boxers, nor would anybody probably ever ask for any, but this is awesome. Thank you very much for that. And finally, my favorite stickers here personally, we've got the FreeNAS sticker set here with the awesome shark logo that they have. So we got some FreeNAS stuff there. So that's it, that's everything in the box. So thank you so much to iX Systems for reaching out to this tiny channel to thank me for the video that I did um, wasn't expecting that at all, and uh, I can't wait to get down to your headquarters uh, to see what you guys are up to. You obviously do a brilliant job um, with all of the products that you're involved with, and as I understand it from the email, it's a small team that does all of this, which if that's the case is shocking to me because they, they accomplish so much. So leave your comments below and let me know what you think. If you, I know a lot of you have reached out to me recently about FreeNAS, asking how, you know, what equipment I used, how to set it up, how I like it, what are some use cases. Uh, so to kind of answer those questions, some of the use cases right now is I have a lot of spin-ups of different distros on the FreeNAS. Obviously, I use it as a storage solution for all of my important files, and I use it as a Plex server. Those would be the primary things that I've played with so far, but I plan to get even more involved with this, especially as my hardware uh, evolves and hopefully get something a little more power friendly uh, than what I got with the big server that I have, although it works perfectly fine. It's beautiful, it's fast, and uh, it provides me a great learning experience to get the software um, you know, mastered or at least as close as I can come to mastered, I would like something a little more energy efficient and my wife would like something a little less ugly to look at, which is why I want to get one of these free nice mini systems uh, here. But those are some of the use cases that I have. But let me know if you have been inspired to set up your own free nice backup server. I highly recommend you do. Um, it's just been an incredible experience. In fact, it was first recommended to me from Noah from the Ask Noah show. And that's what he does for a living is set up enterprise level backup solutions for companies through his uh, own personal company. So, you know, that's why I respected his opinion on what the best option was. And this is what he recommended. So go check it out. Let me know some of the use cases you have. If you're going to be picking one up in the future, let me know. And until next time, get out there and fill your brains. It's good to